We came in here this morning to glass for deer. We've got two wolves down on the bottom howling. We've got two up here. We've got a big male. Every time I howl at them, they just fire up. This group down the bottom is going pretty good. This group's just joined in. We're going to slip over here, get in position. Welcome to Bugling Bull Game Calls. We're here to show you how to use the new wolf pack system. The wolf calling system is designed to do the howling that the wolves do, and like a pack howl. And Michael, yesterday we were into a bunch of wolves. We got into a lot of wolves. What did we count? 12, 12 total? 12 different wolves. And we basically just howled at them. And they answered back, and they come a-running. We actually called one in and almost got him. We had it to about 150 yards, but came through that tall grass. And I'll tell you what, as soon as that turned and started coming up towards us, I thought for sure it was going to continue on that line and clear that brush and was going to pop out and be a movie star. And Real close, wasn't it? <laughs> but the wolf pack is not a hard calling system to operate. Number one thing you want to remember is not to blow hard. Just blow steady. Kind of exhale, hold your hair in, and just let it go. It's all the harder you have to blow. One of the neat things about it, it has a rubber lip positioner on it. You put your lips up over the top of that rubber part, and then you start blowing for low notes, and then you compress your lips together to make higher notes. Now, that's that's the thing. Um, so are, are you actually bringing your lips off the top part of this so your lips are down and putting pressure onto the reed? No, you don't put any pressure on the reed whatsoever. You don't touch that reed. You put your lips around the rubber cap and then you take when you want a higher note you compress it slowly you don't have to bite it hard just real compress it compression slowly it's basically like flexing your muscle in your lip so as as you kind of start to blow in your lips typically it kind of flex anyways that's kind of how you're getting that lip pressure on there to get that note but you know when you start off just take and put your lips around it and blow That'll give you your low note when you just blow on it. Then when you want your higher notes, you compress your lips a little tighter down on the rubber. That gives you that eerie moan of those it, wolves. It hits you. that real eerie hollow note really, really well. And that's one thing I noticed yesterday when we were howling at the wolves and they would howl back at us. I couldn't really tell the difference between pitch and tone, but it sure hit that eerie note that they get just yeah. dead on. So just remember, you don't have to blow real hard. That's really critical because too many guys want to grab it. They want to blow. It, it doesn't take and much at all. You, you end up getting a big blary sound out of it. And it's just so, so easy to use. It's almost like it's too easy. <laughs> it, I, I definitely think it is. When you first start howling with a wolf pack howler, you want to leave it in the open position. It has a tone selector on it so you can dial it in for more volume and less volume. But start off with your, your open position, but as a wolf get in closer and they're starting to howl or you need less volume, you can just turn that indicator down so it's a lot quieter. Here we go again. <coughs> One really important thing too is when you're coming off that high note and get that long, eerie low note, put your mouth a little further onto the rubber and open your mouth up into an oh. I, I noticed position. that. You, you trap some air up in your cheeks. And you just kind of oh, and it'll drop off for you. It's so fun to use. And the idea behind the wolf howler is to get them to answer you so you know that they're in the area. And you can call them in howling because they are a pack animal. And they're territorial. And they're territorial. You know, like if you have a, a main dominant dog, alpha male, he sometimes don't like another dog in his area that's not part of the pack. And he's going to come over there and investigate and probably try to kick your butt. Well, and I think we figured out which one the alpha male was yesterday. That 
Yes. He had that moaning deep he down in the chest. He didn't go up to that high pitch like your younger dog did. No, no, he stayed yeah. real. He's got that dominant sound. But once you find a pack of wolves and they're howling at you, you can also go into your predator calling, and this wolf pack comes with a distemper predator call. It's such a versatile uh, call. You can do your jackrabbits, your cottontails, uh, any type of a rodent, mouse squeak, and stuff like that. You can even get all the way out on the tip of it and do your distressed bird mm -hmm. by just fluttering your tongue. So you, you're exactly right. Very, very versatile call. So you can, you can basically throw a smorgasbord out there of sounds to these wolves. I just so happen to have a distressor in my pocket. <laughs> great, great time. I'm going to give you some low notes. If you move your lips up further on the shaft, you're going to get a little higher pitch. Then when you go clear out on the end, you're going to get those high squeaky sounds, mouse pitches and mouse pitches. bird pitches. You learn to flutter your tongue, that'll give you that high bird distress sound. You know, you almost hit that pup in distress call sound there too, an injured pup. You can come close to that <coughs> whiny pup sound. That... Which, which as a pack animal may pique curiosity to figure out, hey, this intruder came in, because you're howling on the on the wolf howler, and then into that pup distress, that pack may think that one of their their younger members of their pack went in to see what this intruder was, and now a member of their pack's in trouble. Always got to remember, too, wolves don't like coyotes. No. You know, and if you can sound like a wounded coyote, uh, a dog fight, for example, a dog yeah. fight. When we got the wolves hollering at us, using the wolf pack howler, it was really an incredible experience. So let's go listen to them and see what we did howling at them.